Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. All right, guess what? We can turn into a chibi form or, you know, a regular form. They call it Lilikin and Giants, but you know what? I'm calling it chibi and regular. Because, I mean, uh, come on. Our little form looks totally chibi. I, I mean, what else would you call it? Anyways, we got tip jars. Basically, all these little tutorials that keep popping I up. I guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Anyways, if guess what? Manage, we got full control. Lost, uh, you know, so we're you know ones. we we're lawn or rain. It doesn't really matter. Oh, hello, I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you ever waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. All right. Time to get our first mirage. I have no say in this. Because it's still a tutorial. Fortunately, we also have uh, Tama. Wait. Wait, did I already get it? Or, or are we just summoning Tama? We're summoning Tama. Tama, I choose you. <laughs> so what now? First, you're the going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the choco chips prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the choco chip, then the use your prism. You got that? We got Pokemon rules. Weaken it and then capture it with your prismarium, which is also your Pokeball, essentially. But, I mean, you know, prismariums. You can call them Pokeballs if you want. I, I, I would not judge you any differently. Uh, also, Libra. You know, your basic scan ability. Pre pretty cool. Tells you all the... All the neat little things that you can do, and and uh, how you're gonna go about it. See, you got elemental re resistance. It looks like we got this choco chick that's weak to both ice and darkness by 25%. So you know it'll, it'll take more damage from that. But it looks like it also has um, a resistance against wind and earth. Doesn't matter. Anyways, not important. Why am I explaining all this? You can see it. Uh, so yeah, basically... Oh, the most important part about Libra. Uh, at the very bottom, it'll show you how to imprison it. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty simple, but occasionally you will run into a Mirage, aka your Pokemon, that have special requirements to capture. So in a sense, it's not exactly like Pokemon. They, they had to throw you a little bit of a curveball. But this guy is pretty much... Straightforward, just attack it, weaken it, and then capture it. So we're gonna do uh, just that. There, a prism tunity. Use the imprism command to declaim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Oh yeah. So basically. What I just said, at the very bottom, ways to capture it. Uh, I should also mention, you can't just throw your little prismarium straight at, the, at your mirage. So in a sense, it's not like Pokemon in that sense. You have to do a certain thing in order to actually create an opportunity to catch it. So that is the twist right there. You won't always be able to capture your mirage right off the bat. Also, 
I should totally put fast forward on because I mean why wouldn't you okay in prism once you have an opportunity you can select the prism command and then you have a chance at capturing it and we caught it it won't do that if you don't if you fail at catching it but we totally did hey then look you did it now that the choco chick is inside the prismarium it's yours to the keep that was a good fight sweet so bad. now I can now I can bring out my choco chick also, I should mention, because I didn't in the first part, because I was waiting until we got to the actual gameplay to do this. Uh, I was thinking about how to mix things up with this, and I, I've been thinking, you know, I could totally apply Nuzlocke rules to this entire run-through of the game. Because, you know, again, it's kind of like Pokemon or Final Fantasy meets Pokemon, only the Pokemon are Final Fantasy uh, monsters, and I'm totally down with that. Oh, also... I should totally name my Mirage. Um, gotta give him something awesome. Uh, well, uh, give me a second, Piers. All right, I, I got it. We're gonna name him Chazzrad, cause that's my bro. That's my guy. I'm totally naming this guy after him. So, anyways, if any of you know how a Nuzlocke challenge works, basically you, you find the first Pokemon in every area. That's the only one you can capture, and if they die. Well, they're, they're pretty much dead. But I'm thinking, like, I'm going to attempt that. Although, I am a little hesitant about the second one, because, uh... Not quite as much opportunity in this game, and there's not as much variety as, say, Pokemon, because... You know, how, how many are there? A lot. There's a fuck ton. Um... Anyways. So... So I'm going to... I'm going to probably name all my... All my, uh... Little Mirages after... My friends and stuff here on YouTube. I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty than neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. That does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully, and choose the best setup for the job. Alright. So something that I'm not going to be able to take full advantage right off the bat, but I I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, you can stack, and you can create super powerful units, and, and it's amazing. And uh, basically all your stats are combined, and it, it makes for a very, very useful way to go about battling things. So, you know, Chaz, Chaz is gonna totally be stacked on top of rain, and it's gonna be amazing. Aw, oh, man. And so, you know, other things you have to think about are sizes, because uh, you can't put, like, two large units in the same stack, because it just doesn't work out. So, basically, you have to have a small, medium, and large. You know, so, so that's kind of how that works. By the way... But also, I should probably equip Rain with uh, Chaz, because that, that would totally be very beneficial for everybody. So Chaz, Chaz is our first guy. Stack setup. Just gonna equip. There we go. There we go. Pretty neat. I'll probably be cutting a lot of these sort of things out, you so you guys won't have to worry, or I'll probably be doing it in between takes. Uh, won't have to worry so, too much. To get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilikin form. 
The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. She's just explaining certain things. So, for instance, something else that affects your stack size is being small or large. Also, you can totally switch between Rain or Lawn. It doesn't matter. Uh... Also, you can switch between your sizes. When we're in our regular form, we're a large stack. But when we're in our chibi form, we're a medium stack. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. So this thing acts exactly like Snorlax, but unlike Snorlax, you'll never be able to capture it. Gimme, gimme! You just have so to give it that? things. Choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco chick's the Mirage board. All right, now now we're getting into the meat and the potatoes of how how everything is great in this game. Uh, we got mir Mirage boards which act exactly like the Spear Grid or the Crystarium or anything else since Final Fantasy X. Also, you've got the stroll ability. It, it's a nice way to personalize the whole experience. So I will I will show this off, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Not not gonna have to worry. Also, your your guys can evolve, so Chaz can totally evolve. He can totally become badass. Uh, not that that means that you'll want to change him right off the bat. In fact, uh, size does not matter, except like for certain abilities. Then size does matter. But that's kind of irrelevant for the time. Something I'm definitely gonna want to do is like save up our uh, our SP. Our SP is very crucial to getting these uh, these abilities. As you can see, we got a checkbox and we got a number. The checkbox obviously means it's activated. Also, you can kind of see how it's lit up. It means it's activated. Uh, but the number next to the checkbox, that's how many SP you need to activate your abilities. Pretty straightforward, really. I don't have enough to get Cure. I'm gonna have to level up, like, twice. And as far as I know, SP does level up, or SP does go up every time you level, but I think, uh, with every number or multiple of five, could be wrong on that. It goes up, I think, by, like, uh, it goes up by a couple, so your SP will go up relatively decently so if it looks like you won't have enough you will you will also don't know why hey the choco chicks come along for a stroll also if you have strolling guys they can totally find things for you huh you found something like a luster leaf great Yay, fantastic you have found it now try examining the gimme golem one more at the time Chaz huh? a save the day something. Whoa, it vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Alright. So Chaz is definitely going to be one of our more useful allies here. Also, I see a treasure chest. Totally need it. Potions, excellent. I need to keep my guys alive. So, Tama, Especially if I'm going on Nuzlocke rules. When we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, 
when one of you guys gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the Cotton Merkrit. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are... shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! But 